Hi and welcome back everyone to my channel. Today I'm sharing an intuitive painting journal page in my art journal using stamps from rubber dance. I'm starting the background with the gouache paints from Daily Art. Um, gouache paints are similar to watercolors, they are just a lot more opaque but they can be reactivated when you go in with water later. After the background is dry, I sprinkle some water droplets onto the background and as this paint reacts with water, I can wipe away the paint where the droplets are. I have no idea where I want to go with this page, so I'm just adding layer over layer until I'm happy with the result. And this takes a time with this page. That's what I love about art journaling, you can just play with your products and no matter where it takes you. You can't go wrong with uh, playing in your art journal, you just can learn more and practice. I pulled out some round label stickers. These are printed with the computer and I used my own artwork to create them. That's a nice idea. If you have a nice art channel page, you can scan it to the computer and print it onto some labels and use it later in your artwork. The lion is also a stamp from Rubber Dance. By the way, you will find a free shipping code in the description box for the Rubber Dance online store. These two lion stickers are printed with the jelly plate and I stamped the image on top. I have still no idea what I'm going for, but I picked out some contrasting colors. This is one of my favorite shades. It's a mixture of thalo green, I believe, and white. I use a stylus tool to add some marks to the wet paint. Also one of my favorite colors is the Prussian blue. And I try to use different tools to apply it the paint so I can use this technique later on a canvas probably when I like the result. Ah, maybe you see me flipping over the page to another journal spread. It's for a nice video hop we will have in August.
I cut out some shapes from an old book and glued down some borders and also two leaves on the left side. The masks that I'm using now are handmade. I just used some stencil material. It's called Müller and you will find it on Amazon if you search for it. And I just use a craft knife and cut different shapes. I am still totally unhappy with my page, so I go in with some Liquitex ink. And I believe that was the point where I started to imagine what this page will be in the end. And that's what I love about art journaling and art about intuitive playing. In the end, most of the time you will have a nice result. I decided I want to go with some flowers, so I painted some petals with white gesso. Flowers are some of my go-to focal points on my art and that's just because it reminds me um, of my childhood and when I was in my grandmother's garden and smelled a lot of flowers she had there. I'm scribbling just with a simple pencil into the wet paint. A nice way to add more texture and interest to the background is to add some stamping and I'm using the rubber dance round and circle stamps to do this. Mm -hmm. 
I wanted to give the petals some complementary colors so I color them in with the new color crayons and I used some orange, yellow and also a dark red. To finish up the flowers I'm using the acrylic fine liner and draw the outlines. I do some mark making on the page, I add just some simple black dots here and there and I think this gives the page even more depth. Now it's time for the main image and therefore I'm using some brand new product. I got them from our teaser just to try them out and I'm stamping the bees they are also from rubber dance onto the Arteza watercolor paper and it has kind of a textured surface so it's not so easy to stamp um, the images so I'm using the Tim Holtz stamp platform to get a good result When you turn over the paper and use the back side, it's a lot smoother, but I'm working with the watercolor brush pens from Arteza and I just want to try them on the real uh, front of the watercolor paper. It's the first time that I'm working with the Arteza real brush pens and I really enjoyed it. I don't have any other brush pens like this so um, I was very happy that they sent them to me and I think they work pretty well. When I'm done with the coloring, I cut the bees out. In addition to the bees, I'm also adding a quote. I printed it with the computer and cut it into strips. And I'm just looking for the perfect place to adhere them.
At least I was very happy with the page. I hope you enjoyed it also and I hope you liked the video. Please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. Bye!